Hello guys, this is Dr. Base. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll uh, discuss about a very interesting subject, which is Thermography 101. So here what you can see is different coating, uh, two types of metal, thermal camera, and uh, uh, temperature control here. So what I would like to discuss with you is uh, to understand uh, how these devices actually uh, work and how uh, it is important to know what you're doing when you're measuring temperature because these devices will tell you a number here which might sometimes be wrong and I see a lot of people over the internet uh, using uh, these uh, type of uh, thermometer uh, infrared thermometer and uh, they are doing wrong so I will uh, show you how to use it uh, right and why uh, it can be wrong and what's happening and to understand that so this thermometer here is uh, using one single bolometer which is the sensor inside it's like one pixel of this camera so this camera here is 320 uh, pixel by uh, 240 pixel so this is a thermal imager camera so this one is a FLIR and it's uh, quite accurate so what we'll discuss today is that these metal will not tell you the same temperature even if this setup is actually having the same temperature on all these different coatings so here what i have i have uh, this aluminum that is painted with this red insulating varnish the el601 from sprayon this is a coating that is made for uh, electric motor winding so this coating is protecting the winding inside the motor second i have the control surface so this is just bare aluminum unpolished just normal uh, aluminum sheet and this surface here which appear to be very similar but a different uh, different shade i will say uh, so this one is coated with the uh, uh, conformal coating the mg chemical uh, uh, conformal coating this is normally used for protecting electric circuit like uh, this one for instance so uh, it protects against water and moisture and etc. And finally, this one here, it's a, it's a black stove paint. So um, I use it to uh, paint this surface in black. This one uh, is qualified normally to have a good high emissivity. So emissivity normally is a number between 0 and 1. It cannot be 1.2 or 4 or 10. It's between 0 and 1. 1 being like 100% and 0 being 0%. Uh, so normally when a surface have a high emissivity, uh, it will um, emit the heat by radiation very easy. When the emissivity is low, it's the opposite. It will not emit or receive the heat easy. Okay. So I will show you why the thermal camera see things different and you will find it very interesting so right now I will show you you see the different four surfaces and you will see that the blue color here is uh, representing the colder temperature and the red color the higher temperature and the yellow it is in between okay and you will see the temperature number here so I will show you the temperature reading on these and what you can see for example on this one it's 47 degrees Celsius it's between about this one and this one this is the setting and this is the measurement with the thermocouple probe here so I have 47 degrees Celsius on the next one here I have 43 so you see actually these two paint uh, have different value of temperature reading but now check this out check this one it's 26 degrees Celsius and it's it's the same temperature it's uh, about uh, 45 degrees Celsius in reality it's not 26 like you see here so people that don't pay attention to that uh, will get false reading and the next one here it's uh, 44 degrees Celsius you see 44 with the uh, little target here okay so that's something to uh, take uh, very uh, seriously because you will get your measurement wrong. And what you see on the camera here, it's uh, the little epsilon 
it's called emissivity that's the logo for that and it's set at 0 0.9 actually so the temperature reading of this camera will be right if the emissivity of the surface is 0 0.9 or close to if it's an emissivity of aluminum like that and you know aluminum is typically between uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 which is very poor you will not get the right reading and th this is exactly what we see here we see 25 degrees celsius instead of like 40 or 45 so that's a big difference and another thing very very important is the reflective so when i do this you see the reflection of my hand a little bit the visual reflection okay but you don't see it on the black that is exactly the same happening with the thermal camera what i will show you here is that you will see my my hand reflecting in this surface here you see so you see it on this surface you see on this one and on this one just take a look so you see a little bit yeah it's even worse than this one and i mean worse you see it more and also on this one but what happened on the black one you see you don't see any reflection or if it if it, there's any it's very low very very low so this color is actually helping to have great measurement and to get rid of any reflection because what happened is that if you don't pay attention to that what you will see uh, we'll uh, power the camera again is that the temperature measurement that you will do with the camera will be from the reflected surface that is away from this one so you see the camera will point right here and we'll see the temperature of the object right here like you see in my with my hand here you see the temperature changing it reads 36 degree just because of my hand if i remove it you see 24 so that's why it's important to have a very uh, good coating when you want to measure temperature uh, normally plastic will respond great have good emissivity like 0.8 or 0.9 but i will give you a good trick this tape here this is electrical tape uh, it's very well known for thermography um, you can use just a small piece just like that and if you put it on the shiny surface of a bare aluminum with no coating check what's happening so you see the piece of tape right here and you see the temperature 44 degrees celsius so that is great it's working actually so right now the emissivity of this tape correspond very close to the emissivity of the camera and it can read perfectly the number here so guys i hope you appreciated a lot and i will show you i will end uh, this video by showing you an example of an emissivity table that we can see on the internet so you see here this is on the website of fluke and you will see aluminum emissivity uh, and this is in the range of the um, uh, thermal camera in the infrared range. So uh, this is 8 to 14 microns uh, wavelength, 0 uh, 1.6 and 1. So normally you will use these two here. Uh, it's about the same, but you see aluminum is 0 0.2 to 0 0.4. Uh, copper, for example, here, copper is uh, polished you see there is no number here but 0 0.03 so in fact it is very low so uh, the temperature read if you don't pay attention to that will be uh, very uh, uh, not accurate okay and you see oxidized aluminum is 0 0.2 to 0 0.9 so in fact what it means is that the state of the aluminum even if it's just uh, aluminum if it's oxidized it will respond differently okay so i give you an example with the uh, uh, aluminum but with the copper um it will be uh, uh the, the same behavior the, the same thing that you need to pay attention for but the emissivity between those two is just a little bit different so guys again i hope you appreciated this video and if you have any comment please don't hesitate to post this or any suggestion it will be a pleasure for me to answer i hope you appreciate it and see you next time Bye-bye.